Here's a screencast on slope of zero and undefined lines. So here we have three horizontal lines. We know that for horizontal lines, the slope is zero. We also know that when we have the answer of zero, it's zero divided by a number. Doesn't matter what the number is, if it's zero divided by a number, then our slope is zero. And we can see that our horizontal lines are parallel to the x-axis. Here we have three vertical lines, and we know that vertical lines have an undefined slope, seen here. We also know that undefined slope is when you divide by zero. So any number divided by zero is undefined. And we can see that our lines are parallel to the y-axis when they're undefined. So here we have our horizontal lines on the left, our vertical lines on the right. Our left ones are parallel to the x-axis and our right ones are parallel to the y-axis. We notice that parallel to the x-axis is actually perpendicular to the y-axis. And we also notice that parallel to the y-axis is perpendicular to the x-axis. What this means is that our slope of zero, zero divided by any number, is going to be perpendicular to our undefined slope, which is any number divided by zero. So here we can see if we flip them, if we take the reciprocal, we get zero or undefined. So a slope of zero is perpendicular to a slope of undefined and vice versa. So I'd like you to try this on your own. Number one, write the slope of a line parallel to the x-axis. And number two, write the perpendicular slope to the following graph.